Good afternoon, Lace Jump, and I'm John. This is many a true Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Well, last time we went down into the deep roads, but uh, I suspect we've barely scratched the surface. Because you see, the map's a little bit on the um the big side, and I've only been to a single location. Now, there's a new one right here, which is apparently where Branka, the paragon I'm searching for, was last spotted, but um I can't help but notice some other stuff on the map too. Like say a giant evil tower and what might just might be a golem and a giant dinosaur and also a mysterious wall or possibly someone just uh, tore the map I'm not sure and what is clearly the lava boss area and an ancient battle site. So yeah I'd been seeing in the comments people were saying this was um a big area. I'm guessing it's a really bloody big area. Still, the last time we went down there, it did go pretty bloody well. I think we dealt with it nicely. So, back in. Let's see what we got this time, because I'm guessing this new area is going to be a bit more nasty. There you are. I thought I'd spoken to a Grey Warden, but for some reason I chalked it up to the drink. I know you're down here to look for Bronca, and uh, I need to ask a favor. Aha! Uh -huh. I figured I'd be seeing you again, given you're literally Branka's husband, but okay, you didn't need to be so rude to me in the bar, but... Alright, fair enough. Yes, you're her. Well, is it ex-husband if they never, like, formally separated? Well, she did leave him behind. Maybe she did it because she knew everybody was going to die. There might have been a good reason. Who knows? I'm still her husband. More than that... I'm the only one who cares about her as a person. Not some symbol to leave in the deep roads where she can't offend anyone. I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin's scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Okay, so I'm guessing... You're a companion, right? You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. As far as anyone knows, the Anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there. If she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Keridan's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. Okay, so an army of golems to help me take out the Blight. Now that, that could be rather useful. So, okay. I mean, he's coming, but I'm curious. Why precisely do you think you and only you were left behind? Why do you sodding think? She left me. Ran off and took our entire sodding house on her mad quest for the anvil. It was a stupid move. If I'd been with her, she'd have made it back years ago. But I forgive her. Okay, there's gonna be more to it than that, but welcome aboard, buddy. Ooh, um, slight issue though. Okay, so we know this is where the Anvil of the Void producing golems is, so therefore we definitely want Shale to be coming along. And on top of that, Ogren, well, it's literally his ex-wife out there, so he wants to be coming along, and I need a mage, because somebody needs to do the healing, otherwise we're gonna run out of potions, so Morrigan's coming along... And I have to come along because I'm the protagonist, which means... Uh, I can't step down, can I? No, I'm not allowed. Um... Okay, this is weird. We're going in without Alistar. And he's kind of the linchpin of the team. But if I take Alistar, I can't take either Shale or Ogren. And uh, I kind of need them. They feel like they really ought to be there. It's important plot-wise. So... Okay, Alistar... I still love you, but you get a day off today, though, oh bloody hell. The team really depends on Alistair tanking. I don't know how we're going to do without him. 
Okay, Ogren, warrior, so obviously high strength, good at smashing things, poor dexterity, can't really do much in the way of, uh, yeah, dodging, magic and cunning, obviously not much, but that's, uh, it's not great constitution. Okay, could be a bit of a glass cannon. We need to give this guy a lot of armor, suggesting that, uh, yeah, potentially, I might need Shale to be the tank, not Ogren. Okay, so he's a warrior and berserker, and he's pretty much exclusively specced into two-handed. So, okay, no shields, no bows, no anything of that nature. Gotcha. So, berserker. Haven't seen one of them yet. So, he's got a special ability that means he does bonus damage. He already hits really hard with a big axe, and he can hit even harder. Now, normally that would cause problems with stamina regen, but he's already specced ahead, so... Okay, he also gets uh, health regen, so okay, just keep him in Berserk and he will be hitting bloody hard all the time. On top of that, he comes with nature resistance, which might be useful some of the time, I suppose. Then on top of that, yeah, that's just uh, dealing with the penalties uh, attached to Berserk. So okay, we've already got him in his uh, final form, where he's pretty bloody strong. And finally, we have got activated ability, final blow... Okay, so this is like um, Killing Blow that the Golem's got. He can turn all his stamina into one dumb amount of damage. Gotcha. Okay, I've just uh, rearranged his abilities to make a bit more sense. So uh, he's got a trio of sustained. Berserk, I think we want on just all the time. Then we've got powerful swings. Uh, so more damage, but penalties to attack and defense. But he's already got the ability that counteracts that. So uh, honestly, why not? We'll have that on at two, and yeah, this doesn't really cost much in the way of fatigue, so I'm happy to just uh, have this on. And then finally, Indomitable, so, okay, even more attack damage, and immune to stun. I mean, honestly, he can have all that on at the same time, and presumably, his basic attacks are just going to be dumb strong. We'll try just having all of it on, and we'll see how it goes. Actually, you know what? Indomitable is only a small benefit to attack. We'll turn that off for now, just to give him a fair whack more in the way of uh, all the rest of it. Because he does have a, a whole pile of abilities uh, he could probably gain some good benefit from. So, okay. Pommel Strike is uh, knock the enemy down. Mighty Blow is uh, crit damage. Okay. Then Critical Strike, which is also crit damage, but whatever. Big Sweep, so a whole bunch of enemies uh, go down. Excellent. And uh, Final Blow... That's where he trades all the stamina for one ludicrous mega blow. Gotcha. And then finally, he's got a couple of other abilities he can do. So, yes, he can screw up the enemy arms or screw up their armor. So, yeah. Okay, support abilities, basically. Gotcha. While his passives are, yes, he stuns people or rather has a chance to stun people all the time. And is good against uh, golems and large constructs. Diddly diddly day. And just given the basics, he'll turn on powerful swings and berserk under all circumstances. If he sees enemies with high armor, he can just uh, sunder that. If he gets weak, do a little potion just to keep him going. And if he gets surrounded, a two-handed sweep, which should hit everybody. So, okay, that should do for now. You know, I've seen a golem or two in my time. We have them in Orzammar. It is indeed wise in the ways of the golem. It deserves a medal. Thing is, I don't remember anyone ever mentioning about them having memory problems. Perhaps they're not the ones with the memory problems. I talked to a golem once. It didn't have anything interesting to say, but its memory? Sharp. It could tell you what you were wearing at the Barnak Festival ten years ago. Probably vomit and flies and little else, if I were to guess. Of course, if someone simply claimed to have lost their memory, that would avoid some awkward questions. Is it still talking? It is not drinking, so it must be. Fine, fine. You go on and don't answer me. You'll screw up sooner or later. Okay. Interesting exchange there. Accusation that uh, this golem shale either might be lying to me or something's been done to it to make it not remember what's going on in its past. Interesting. Also, another comment. Um, so I'm guessing all that booze I've got 
is actually supposed to be for Ogren. Now, Ogren is clearly, yes, an alcoholic who's struggling with booze, and people judge him harshly for that, so I feel like I shouldn't give him more booze, but I'm guessing I'm kind of supposed to if I want to make him like me more. Here you go. How'd you feel about this, buddy? Why, my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. Okay, yes, he likes that. Got it. Here we go, I thought so. Nipping back to base quickly, Sten is carrying a tier 6 battle axe that's got itself willpower, critical damage, and is already set up with a handful of enchantments. So, okay Stan, sorry, you don't have that anymore. That instead goes to Ogren, because it's precisely the same as what he's got, but just a bit better. Also, Alistar, I know you're not going to be, um thrilled about this, but, 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 how would you feel about handing over literally all of your armor to the newcomer? Oh, I can't just leave him like that. He looks too sad standing next to the fire with no clothes whatsoever. Plus, Morrigan is probably going to start staring in a second, because I do feel like they've got a bit of a thing starting to happen. There we go. He can have his old Templar armor back. He likes his old Templar armor, I'm sure. Also, this armor should not fit you, because it wasn't made for your species. But, okay, while we're here, one, just got to, uh, yeah, make sure he's set up right in terms of the old enchantment. So, okay, here we flipping go. Uh, right now we've got, okay, basic and paralysis. What do we want him to do? Is him doing paralysis a good idea? Well... To be honest, may as well do, aha, fire damage. That's more effective against Darkspawn. And that's what's waiting down below, yes. So, okay, that's a good thing. Oh, hang on. That's a good point. The Blood Dragon armor, that's like DLC armor or something. Yeah, I started with one bit of it. I think it's stored over at the Grey Warden Castle. And the rest of it is in this guy's shop. But at this point in the game... It's really not that expensive, so... Okay, I feel like this is the better way to go. I feel bad taking Kalen's armor away from Alistar. It just feels like, you know, he ought to keep it as the next king. So I'm going to buy all the Blood Dragon stuff, and we're going to give that to Ogren instead. Okay, so he gets three bits of the Blood Dragon armor right now. A bloody hell, he's Cyclops. So, okay... Just toss that in with Armor of Diligence, and that'll do for now, buddy. Though, don't worry, I'm gonna go get you the final piece right this second. Bit of a long walk, mine, but I feel like it's gonna be worth it, because uh, there are a couple of really good shops here, so I should double-check for, yeah, good double-handed weapons. Here we go, Blood Dragon Plate, magnificent. And while the lad over the road does sell, uh, yeah, a slightly better battle axe, it doesn't come with any benefits, so... Uh, I imagine sooner or later we'll stumble across something that's, you know, a higher tier, but still comes with uh, nice benefits. I'm not going to drop money on that just for the minute. Oh, but Ogren, you're going to like this. Oh, lovely. Just absolutely lovely. And apparently that gives him bonuses to defense and armor. Beautiful. Also, I've just learned something while I was just messing around with loadouts, which is... Okay, apparently I don't need base stats to use weapons, which means actually, Duncan Sword is available to me right now, because my strength is actually 26, 22 plus 4, so as long as it remains over 25, due to being boosted by whatever, I can use Duncan Sword already, well I'm glad to know that, would have wasted some attribute points otherwise. Ah, but, I still need to level up anyway, because I need to, yes, um, take the final perk on the two-handed tree in order to double-wield a sword. But I can now choose between Marek's Blade and Duncan's Sword for my primary weapon. And uh, to be honest, it's got to be Duncan's. Like that bonus cunning and stamina regen and damage versus dark spawn, which I'm going into right now. Then again, hang on. Marek's Blade does even more damage versus dark spawn. Gotcha. But then again, willpower and cunning, that's got to be worth it. So, okay. I can now... Ooh, I can use a full Duncan loadout. Duncan sword and Duncan's dagger. Oh, now that's nice. 
Okay, I feel like we're all much better set up now. Back to camp. So, just take the Expert Frost Rune and Expert Paralyzed Rune off Marek's Blade, shove it on Duncan's, and we're all good. In fact, I should just swap round the runes. Presumably, the strongest rune should be on my primary hand, as that's logically got a better chance to hit. There we go, much better. Right, full Duncan loadout in hand, just one thing left to do, and that's make sure we understand what we're... Okay, for a minute there I thought he had a weird extended long neck, but no, it was just the armor paint. It's fine. He might know something about the Deep Roads, Branca, etc. Probably best we speak to him before we go down to Caradon's Cross. Stop wasting time, Warden. I'm not here to chat. Okay, me and you can be friends. Every other companion wants me to have 17 conversations with them before they'll give me anything useful. This guy, no, he doesn't want to chat. He just wants to get on with the murder. Ah, on the way though, just passing by a shop that's got nothing of interest, I did think if Shell now needs to be our tank, then I need to change his programming because as a tank, I'm going to want him to be in Stoneheart all the time. He'll do less damage, but... He'll draw attention, he'll have armor and resistances. Yeah, that's gonna be the way to do it. Just for the minute, I want him to have Stoneheart and Threaten on all the time. And just like Alistair used to, if I'm being attacked, then you should be taunting. Now, I'm not 100% convinced this loadout's going to work, but we'll give it a go. And also, excuse me, Ogron. Why precisely are you not in the modes that you're supposed to be in? So, best as I can tell, we're done with the Iduken thing. So, off to Caradon's Cross we go. Though, it's not going to be that simple. We're not just going to get there. No. There's going to be more to it. Caradon's Cross. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Tide. So okay, that's the second time you've mentioned the Orton thing. So, a woman in the, uh, yeah, shape place. She wanted me to get there too. What's so important about that? It's the home of Caradon, the paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their tag. Branca figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. Okay, so... Wait, are we supposed to be going to the Autumn thing? Or where we are right now? Because not 100% sure, but okay, can you give us directions? Aye. Branca dug up some maps of the ancient empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. Okay, and uh, any way you could tell whether she'd been past here or not? Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Taig. She was going to Keridan's home. Okay, so anything you know at all about the anvil? Presumably, she would have known something about it before she went looking for it. She might have talked about it at some point or another. No one but Keridan ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. Oh, there's going to be a horrifying secret that recontextualizes everything, isn't there? Because there is always a horrifying secret that recontextualizes everything. Oh, and bloody hell. Ogren straight up to plus 12 and minor constitution. So he is easy to please. Still, this place is oh bloody hell. Okay, when the map zooms out this far, that is not a good sign. And uh, we've also got... Ooh. Hired goons. Everybody loves hired goons, but everyone also loves free XP out of the codex. So just... Oh. Okay, where's my... Where's my free XP out of the codex? Bloody useless. Well, look what we have here. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. Yeah! Okay, yes, as I suspected. Right, 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 right. So, 
what we're going to do now is New Look Shale is going to move a little bit forward. You may as well just head forward and start attacking. Morrigan, if you could just get a good, just a little, oh, that looks pretty good. That's a good angle right there. Don't let their mage do anything, please. So, yeah, you just get on to this lad. Start doing some good work to him. May as well just start uh, pommel striking him. You, meanwhile, don't generally be in this mode. So, uh, regenerating burst. So, damages nearby enemies. And also stuns them after physical resistance check. So, uh, they can still be knocked back, which is pretty good. Okay, that's nice. Then there's Bellow. Even more stunning. So, okay, he's good at stunning. And then a roar, which is distinct from a bellow, thank you very much indeed, attracts the attention of a single enemy who views Shale as the most urgent threat. Okay, gotcha. And that doesn't really seem to do too much at all. So just let the freezing happen. And you apparently were frozen. So okay, activate bellow. Boom! And that did something. And then activate regenerating bursts. And, oh, that takes... That's got a little bit of a wind-up on it then. Gotcha. Just start punching the mercenary. How did you miss? She wasn't even bloody doing anything. How's everyone else doing, by the way? I feel like that guy... Okay, he doesn't have a head anymore. So doing pretty well, and you're trying to regenerate, are you? Yeah, good luck with that, because you're now being stabbed by, like, everybody. Right, okay. So the team working pretty well so far. Hired goon. Staggered, even though he was dead. Excellent. Injury kit. Always shy of them. Always bloody shy. Right, so help myself to all of this. Why not? And, uh, okay, seriously, why does Berserk keep turning off when it's called a sustained ability? It shouldn't turn itself off. It's sustained. That should mean it stays on. So it's not just Dark Spawn down here. There's going to be trouble. All sorts of trouble from, oh dear. Oh, it is leering at me once again. Oh, <laughs> did I say that out loud? Okay, I was just talking about the giant piles of uh, corpses. But apparently Ogren is uh, leering at Morrigan. And Ogren, leave her alone. She's been in the party longer than you. I like her more than you. Watch your bloody step, mate. And it looks to me like we've got, uh, yeah, same issue again. We've got collapsed a boulder. And I feel like we could just climb over that. But no, 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 no. We're not going to climb over the rock. Instead, we're going into the caves full of monsters, because that makes way more sense. On this occasion, though, multiple different ways we could go. So, okay. We'll start with this path right here, because presumably there's no dark spawn in here, because somebody already killed them. So, whoever that is, thank you so, so much. You've done me a lovely turn there. Oh, I'm seeing trouble up ahead. Like, a lot of it, actually. All right, what am I seeing it? Oh, I'm seeing some of it. Guys, no, back off. Back off, Morrigan. You too, just for a second. Let him come to us, because I feel like, actually, some of them are now coming in when the rest of them aren't. So, go! John, you had to step forward, didn't you? Still, Ogram, we know what you need to do, actually. Go over to the Herlock and hit him with Critical Strike. Because that should be a guaranteed shatter. You just work over here. You work on the one at the back. And honestly, these guys should go down. No trouble. What? So flipping ever. Love it. And oh yeah. First group goes down. No issue at all. Are more coming in? Not yet. Yeah. If you uh, advance very carefully, you can very often just uh, bring just a handful of them out of a room... Which is uh, very bloody convenient. Because now, there's a few more. Just everybody... Okay, never mind. On this occasion, we're just uh, moving in for the murder. And that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. So just get over to here and... Excuse me. No, you don't, buddy. Just around the back of you. And then we start stabbing you in the back, back, back. And this is why swords are nice. I know swords are a bit slower in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but... The base damage is so much higher, it makes the triple stab and the dual weapon swing just ridiculous. The amount of damage you can do is uh, so dumb. Just ridiculous levels of dumb. And there's more to come, but we're cutting through them pretty effectively. I don't know who you're going for, but you can just be stabbed in the back, so screw you. And stab, and stab, and stab some more. And good luck hitting me. I have a defense of 10 cocking million these days. And oh, okay, guys... Uh, be careful, there's 
There's a lot of them over there, actually. Morrigan, I want you to be ready with all your abilities for the time being. Just take out... Oh! Okay, you detected that trap a little bit late there. Just a little bit late, and Morrigan is uh, not doing so hot. Team heal, and me heal, actually. Just drink the potion. Great. And then get over to here. This should be a good little starting point just for weakening them. Good work right over there. Then just this little guy, Winter's Grasp. But go back over to John. Everybody seems to be doing pretty well for the time being. These guys are just being annihilated. And John, don't forget, has, uh, yes, Pinpoint Strike. So at this point, oh, hang on. I've prepared something for this guy. That guy's trying to cast a spell. So how about John goes over to bow and then shoots an arrow and oh dear god oh did he get interrupted okay he was supposed to get interrupted i'm not sure no he didn't get interrupted he completely didn't get interrupted but i've set the interrupt cast arrows as my default arrows which i feel like is actually pretty bloody badass then stab stab and here comes the triple stab so one two three dead just a dumb dumb amounts of damage and i cocking love it so, down you go, you stupid losers. Okay, this team is okay. It's doing the job competently. Oh, we're not done yet, though, because uh, there's enemies over there. So, the problem is, um, how precisely do we intend to, to get to said enemies? Is there a slope over? Oh, there's just a gentle slope. Okay, that makes life much easier than I thought it was. I'm just going to loot the corpses of all your friends in front of you. Because that has got to be bad for your morale going forwards. Here we go. Alpha seems to be standing up on the bridge. I feel like he should have got involved earlier, to be honest. Bit late, really. Now he's dead. All his friends are already dead. Any more for any more or so, John? Okay, John's getting better at detecting traps, which is good. And also there's... Oh, hang on, there's... Where did you guys come from? Okay, so the trap was a bigger trap than I thought it was. Also, Morrigan, why are you not at the front? You should be freezing these guys so they can't escape, dear oh flippin' dear. And now they're all running all over the place. This is bloody useless. And go... Right there, beautiful. That'll keep uh, two of them busy. Right, so there was an ambush on the bridge. But unfortunately, it doesn't really matter because I could just freeze everybody. So, okay, bit of healing. Watch out for, uh, yeah, Ogren. He goes down a little bit on the fast side, actually. Excuse me. No, you cocking don't. You get hit with crushing prison because you attacked my mage, and that's not cool. Also, I can't help but notice, I think Ogren is... Uh, constantly burping and i find that a little bit on the um unpleasant side to be honest dear oh flippin dear also i'm not sure these guys understand traps that well which is yeah they um set up this ambush but then they didn't bother closing the ambush like at all and also oh guys 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 i've got bad news for like all of you which is step one morrigan is about to freeze all of you and step two, John's about to activate Pinpoint Strike. And step three, John's about to critical... Okay, so abilities can't crit, but that should be... Yep, shut up. And shut up. And step three, oh, you just got away with that, but screw it. It's still ridiculously too strong. So, okay, freeze and shut together. That is... Uh, that's hilarious. Gotcha. Okay, another group of them up ahead, but they all seem to be standing... Uh, right next to each other. So, John, are you ready with... Uh, oh, no. Okay. The cooldown on that is uh, 10 million years. Got it. So, you can't just spam that, which is uh, fair enough, I suppose. That's uh, that's reasonable. Morrigan. Let's see if we can just draw a bit of attention. Oh, that's an ogre at the back. Guys, don't draw too much attention, please. Not too much attention. Just bring them over, like... One by one, please. Here we go. This is what we want to see. It's a little bit of freeze. And then murder. There we go. Dead. Now the next one can also go down. Excellent. And now they're just coming over one at a time. And okay, Shale. I see you are starting to be interested. So everybody just start moving in. This guy who's just a basic one. Just hit him with the winter's grass. And then everyone else can deal with that. Meanwhile, I shall run over here. And just hit a handful of notes a little bit, little bit closer. A little bit closer. Just keep them 
busy. Boom. And okay, now everybody back, please. Everybody cocking back. Ogren, just make sure this guy goes down with the crit strike, if you'd be so kind. John, I want you over here. Shale, engage the ogre. He's only marked as yellow. So I feel like we should be absolutely fine. So just get over to here. Triple stab should take care of. This is overkill. Why is he running away? Well, this is just annoying. Just stab him. Just just hit him with a... There you cocking go. Well done. Double swing. You should do the job. He's almost dead now. Excellent. And dead. How's everybody else doing? Oh, Morrigan's in a bit of trouble. Morrigan, drink the potion, please, and then back off. You're standing too nearby. Right. Just freeze him if you can. John, get over to here. Take out all this nonsense. I feel like, yeah, right now, my two front lines, in particular Shale, can handle all of this. And one, two, three. That's you dead. And as for over here, yeah, uh, Shale can take this. He's got the healing. Just going for upset balance and just start stabbing. This is absolutely fine and beautiful. And aha, is an ogre a large thing where, oh, Okay, John, you just kill stealing there. That. that was not your kill. Ogren did the work. Is an ogre large enough that Ogren gains bonus damage against it? Same as Golem. Because that I'm not sure about. Okay, something that may be of interest down the line. A letter found under a pile of rocks. So, the journal of Brunar. Who just started, yeah, rather than creating safe, normal, conventional paths. Just started making... Weird pass down wherever his fancy took him. Or rather, to be precise, his family member, Rogan, did that. Now, the assembly was going to be furious and they were going to revoke their mining rights, but they were going somewhere so deep and weird that, yeah, the assembly wouldn't dare come to deliver the writ. They are afraid of the road we travel. Okay. Could this have something to do with the origin of the Darkspawn? Did some idiot dwarves just dig too deep or something? Okay, handful more little monsters, but this isn't just a big cave uh, for some loot. There's also a way to get, uh, yeah, further down. I mean, this looks like this might be leading down and potentially back towards the road. So we're just going to keep heading in this direction, see what we can see. We're pretty good at detecting enemies up ahead these days, so... Uh, we should see any ambush coming, unless it's one of the ones that literally pops out the ground. In which case, we won't, but those tend not to be so bad. And there we go. That there looks like a road to me, including... Okay, now that's got to be Codex XP, right? Okay, finally. Good. Ah, I suspect I may be right. This cross-cut drifters business might be important. As I expected, the assembly said, please stop doing this because, yeah... One, you're breaking all the rules. And two, potentially you're being poisoned by exposure to lyrium. Now, is it possible that's what the Darkspawn were originally? People that got too exposed to lyrium. Because mages have a higher than average chance of becoming weird monster creatures. And dwarves who have been exposed to lyrium might be. I mean... That sort of makes sense as a theory. Lyrium might be terrifying monster powder. Oh, I also seem to have joined up with a completely unrelated road I wasn't planning to actually go towards. So hang on, there's... There's a transition zone right here. Where does this go? It doesn't go anywhere. It's just a way to get back to the map screen. Gotcha. Well, don't worry about that then. We'll stay where we are for now. Okay, this is becoming more and more of a maze. There is another breakaway spur right here even though this road appears to be going somewhere so okay i'm going to check the breakaway spur i think i saw some uh yeah little dark spawn running into here so we're going to check this out first though they are possibly leading me into a trap this feels like a trap to me it also feels like a dead end right morrigan you're up front, if you'd be so kind, this will do very nicely. Just make sure the... Oh, no, you don't, buddy. Oh, no, you don't. You are... Wait. Did I see a... I thought I saw a mage, but also trouble. There's a little bit of a, uh, yes, monster going on here. But that's fine. Just to freeze the monster, and then, yeah, just shatter him. So Morrigan can just do that. Well, flipping done. Mainer Herlock, no trouble. Just keep tossing some freezing down. Ogren! How about you go over to the lad who's frozen and just, uh, yes, crit strike him and... 
How did you fail? He's literally frozen. How are you failing at this? Okay, so Ogren hits hard, but his accuracy isn't spectacular. That's the problem we've got here. He's doing like 63 damage a go, which is pretty good, but he's not got that much health, and his accuracy leaves something to be desired. Ooh, this is interesting. I've picked up a sword, or rather, not a sword. Half a sword. The hilt. So, on top of that, glowing writing. Possibly important. Possibly Lord of the Rings reference. Okay, so topsider just means that someone who's not a dwarf. And uh, this was, yeah, Legion of the Dead. The patrols of the dwarves. They were being followed around by somebody from above. Who, for some reason, wanted to come down and fight Darkspawn even when there wasn't a blight on. So, okay. Don't know who this guy is, but he might be important. Also, I was wrong. It's not a dead end because, okay, this place just keeps going on forever. Got it. It is very mazy. Keep an eye on the map, damn it. Otherwise, you're going to get completely lost down here. Oh, and I think I might have just walked into a trap, by the way, because a couple of shrieks are just appearing out of nowhere. And on top of that, there appears to be, um, Ogre Alpha. Okay, Morrigan. Keep the Ogre Alpha busy for just a sec while we're working on the rest of it. And uh-oh, he just resisted that. Okay, Shale, how about you do a giant burst? Yeah, a uh, big bellow. Just stun anyone you can. We need to take out the, uh, the other lads. Like this Shriek right here. Fire works well, but we don't really have uh, much in the way of uh, fire. You do a big swing, hit everybody who's around. John needs to stay out the cocky way for the time being. And, uh, okay, Morrigan, you should be standing further back, actually. Just for, uh, just for safety. Okay, just do whatever magic you've got available. And I need to take out these lads before they become too much more of a problem. So double swing. That's pretty good. These guys have got some health on them, damn it. And yeah, I need the ogre. I need the ogre dead, but I need the little guys dead first. So take out the other shriek. He did a big roar or something. So just, oh, he disappeared too. Well, that's no good at all. Right, Morrigan. Um, if you can freeze somebody, do it. You are not in the right position. Okay, just Winter's Grasp. You... What have you got available? Stone Raw. Regenerating Burst. That'll do. John will be recovering momentarily. Let's just get around over to here. There's the Shriek. We found him. Just get over here. And one and two and three. Right, you're dead. Now you can turn to this. John is temporarily knocked down. Morrigan, I feel like you should be group healing. I'm not sure whether I've actually set that, by the way. I should probably double check. Um, okay. Get over to here. And the triple stab should do good work right there. Beautiful. And now, yeah, mark of death. Just to make sure we are hitting him nice and reliably. Dual weapon swing in a second. No, get close enough first. Boom. And he goes down. Okay, even the orange ogres were taking care of this. And oh, is John about to do an amazing awesome? No, nope, this time John. Oh! It was Ogren. Okay, this time Ogren gets the kill. Well done. And oh, he's not done yet. Okay, that was needlessly dramatic. Anytime you're bloody ready. Okay, and even this tiny cave keeps splitting apart. There's just so many little spurs, side caves, all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, the worm things can just pop out the ground and shrieks are invisible. And sometimes there are just bosses in side corridors. This place is nasty. Got it. I mean, if they were trying to create the feeling that this was a nasty, oppressive place, absolutely full of monsters. Yeah, good job. Well done. I'm feeling it. Yes. Okay, I may have found the right exit to Auton Tig. So, aha. Yes, indeed. So, I need to go that way for that. But I don't want to go there just yet. No, 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 no. We're not even nearly done with this. I think by pure accident, I went the right way first. But... Okay, there's there's got to be more here than that. Like, so much more. And uh, there are buried treasures. And for the time being, we're doing okay on the combat. So, uh, keep on keeping on. We're checking out the rest of it first. There was a man in the village who reminded me of the drunken dwarf. They had some dwarves just like me, huh? <laughs> no, none of the dwarves were similar. They were quiet and respected, more or less. 
No, the one I remember was a human. He vomited in the street constantly. Then he wandered into a snowstorm and froze to death. Huh? And how is that like me? Did I say similar? I meant I hoped he was similar. I think I had a wife like you once. Okay, gonna be honest, Shale and Old Grona, Loke and Dan, they're pretty good. But, can't help but notice, it's another phylactery. So, uh, we're getting close to the full bloody set of these bastards now. And, obviously, by this time, we know how to deal with these bastards. Just surround them, whack them, keep freezing them as far as possible. No, don't do that. Undead doesn't generally work that well. Instead, yeah, John just gets behind and everyone else just focuses on uh, healing and support. But yeah, with a dedicated group healer, this is not so bad. Especially as if he tries to use a misdirection or something, we can deal with that. That's actually not a problem in the slightest. So, okay, John, you just start doing a triple stab if you'd be so kind. That's no, that's the wrong button. That's the button right there. Take his armor down, attack him, all the rest of it, and uh, Morrigan, just keep everyone nice and topped up on health, but go over to telekinetic weapons, because this guy's got armor, so I feel like bypassing the armor is, oh yeah, look at that. I think the frost doesn't do much, doesn't do much at all, but just keep everyone uh, nice and uh, healthy, heal up the shale, and yeah, at this point, everything is good, there's a paralysis, he is going down uh, Really fast. We got this guy. This guy's no trouble at all. Yep, super easy on this occasion. It simply couldn't keep up with uh, Morrigan's healing blended with uh, Shale's uh, large amount of health. Just could not get through. Uh, no trouble at all. And that means we're now up to uh, five out of six. Just the fifth one left to locate. I think I may have just stumbled across the end of the uh, cross cut drifter story, by the way. So they just went digging wherever they fancied uh, and discovered. Uh, that the Darkspawn were digging too, and were about to break into an area close by to Orzammar behind the patrols. So as a result, Brunar set the charges and presumably took out himself and his entire clan to save the city, though nobody ever knew about it. Oh, that's cute. I enjoyed that story. That was nice. Okay, so what I've done now is I've looped back round to the road I found at second, but it would appear that if I were to take a left right here, avoid all the, uh, yes, weird sludge on the ground or whatever, then one, I'm at the far side of the rock I saw right at the beginning. Yep, that's true. And two, I assume I can now go in and loop back round to where the start was. And would you believe a convenient cave right here? Spectacular. Oh, but we've got little dinosaurs. And when you see one, that means there's 20 more hidden underground. But we're okay for the minute at least. Yeah, thought as much. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Just stay on this side of the room for now. Morrigan, if you could freeze like 20 of them, that'd be great. Okay, you know what? On this occasion, screw it. We're going over to pulverizing blows because I want earthquake. So I am having earthquake. And then we can just start. You see, that's what we need to see. Right there. Earthquake is beautiful. Morrigan, drop the old mind blast. That's not mind blast. That's mind blast. Right, that should be all them nice and uh, stunned for the time being. And there we go. Nice group taken care of. Uh, no trouble whatsoever. Ooh, here's fun. Just around the corner, I found a head in a bag. Now, I do have... Uh, I've got something else in the bag. Somewhere in my inventory, I picked up some limbs earlier. So, yeah, there was some sort of uh, ritual. Keep the pieces apart, away from the hearts. Okay, I feel like I am reconstructing a demon that everybody was terrified of. And that's a bad thing I shouldn't be doing. Right, nothing else around here. And while it looks like there's something on this side, uh, yeah, it's impassable rocks and what looks like uh, water beyond. So we can't actually get that way at all. So, okay, that is uh, that path complete. The map is starting to be filled up. I think there's now nothing left aside from one small side route just before the exits. You know what? I rather like this area. I like the way it's designed. It does actually give you uh, choices uh, once you understand what's going on. Which is, yeah, there's a fairly major fight against the Darkspawn in the central area. But if you just use uh, the two side paths on the left, you can bypass it, which is kind of cool. 
Not my style though, I want everybody to die because everybody dying means more XP and I really want to level up and uh oh. Okay, one, I'm seeing another small bloody sack, which I was just saying was potentially a bit of an issue. And two, handful of uh, little monsters, but they're not too much trouble. This is all absolutely fine. Right, no trouble, but by any chance in this small bloody sack is there the torso. Now, I'm no expert on demons, but I feel like that there, that's where the heart is. And there we go, brand new mission, Asunder. Okay, so I found the remains of a Fade Beast, one that may have intentionally dismembered itself. So, okay... How do we- No, John, don't put it back together. The whole point is, don't do that thing. Okay, well, step one, in the next room, while just wading through little deep stalkers, because seriously, they're not too much of a threat at all, I've come across the matriarch. So, okay, can I just shatter her? Because that would be hilarious if I could just uh, do that. So, critical strike, and uh, yeah, focus all your attention on onto here. Make her nice and vulnerable with a big old affliction hex if you be so kind. There we go. So just keep hitting her with everything. Okay. I'll give her. She's got more health than plenty of them do. That is definitely true. Do a tiny little bit of uh, poison drinking. No, not poison. The opposite. Like healing. So get out of here. Oh, the matriarch is now coming for Morrigan, which is understandable. Yes, you're already doing taunt. Well done. So everybody just needs to get over here, take care of this nonsense. Morrigan should be just fine. She'll be A-OK. -okay. Just keep on healing everybody and... Okay, Morrigan, you're... No, wait, hang on, watch the... No, that's not the one I wanted. Just keep on healing. Heal. And then drink a potion. Everyone will be with you in a second, Morrigan. It's fine. Okay, there we go. Everything's now A-OK. -okay. The matriarch is now completely outnumbered. And I'm going to be honest. I was kind of hoping the matriarch might be bigger. But no, it's still just a tiny baby. We're just basically assassinating a small dog. Who happens to be one of the toughest things that we face down in the underground. Which is hilarious. And after all that trouble, one sarcophagus giving us... Okay. Diamond Maul, which is... Yeah, the nice thing about that is it does come with complete armor penetration, but I just feel like it can't compare to stuff that's actually got bonus effects. So even for Ogren, barely even worth the trouble. Oh, and this is nice. Apparently, because I read all the notes about the... Uh, yes, what were they called? The something crosses. Yeah, I get a secret cache that belonged to them. That's lovely. Okay, I was in this room previously. And there was not a giant magic box in it, all right? I checked this room before, but whatever. And oh my. Well, this seems... This all seems rather good, actually. Okay, the heavy armor is garbage. The rest looks really nice. Okay. So, my rings are better, but somebody is going to get some really good use out of that. And I'm thinking Alistar. Then the Hail Rune, pretty good for physical resistance. Again, could be an Alistair thing. Magic Gloves, that give additional strength. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. But, oh no, this could be for me. Right here. So, it's a dagger. Tier 6, which is a little bit underwhelming. But, comes with damage and armor penetration. So, pretty much of all the daggers I've come across so far, that is doing the most damage. That's actually... A dumb, dumb amount of damage. That is not bad. Okay. But I'd be giving up for dexterity and bonus backstab damage. And okay, the dragon damage, not so much. Maybe don't worry about it. Because I was planning to go over to not daggers in a moment anyway. But that is still really nice. Keep an eye on that. Might be some use for that down the line. Also, apparently, this thing killed an archdemon in the past, so that's nice. Oh, but anyone who touches them dies horribly. Okay, I now regret picking it up. Still, that would appear to be the entirety of this area, and bloody hell. Okay, not as big as I feared. There's a huge amount of map that hasn't been filled in, but still, this area is... Uh, it's big, and there we go. The next area is available, but, 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 but... I would say that is more than enough for now. We have got ourselves uh, some good loot. 
and a brand new team member who is... Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm not 100% sure about him. He hits really hard when he hits, but he doesn't hit most of the time. Which kind of undermines the whole, I'm going to hit really hard thing. So, okay. We'll see if we can figure him out a bit as we head forward into the Orton area. And that is coming up very soon indeed. Hopefully, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Dragon Age Origins. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Oh, also, apparently you've either got a girlfriend or a daughter. Hopefully That's a girlfriend. girlfriend. Really, hopefully a girlfriend. No! Stop walking around! Just, just stay still! Just, just stay still! I st don't know! Stop doing laundry! There we go! How are you so bad at escaping from prison?